Hello, Sydney. Did 2023 have some epic horror games? Possibly. I think 2023 probably had, to me, not the best selection of horror games to come out. I think we've fallen into a little bit of a YouTube jump scare let's play trap. But I still think there were some great horror games to release in 2023. Hello, I'm Nightmare Culture and we're going to discuss my top three horror games of 2023. Since 2024 is upon us now, let's discuss the best games from last year. Now again, these are all based on my personal preference as well as, you know, some fan feedback, some critically acclaimed games, things like that. But mainly this is all based on my opinion. So just remember that as you go through this video. If you don't agree with me, 100% okay. In fact, that's pretty much normal. But one thing that could help is just to like this video. And really, if you enjoy my content, you want to see more things like this, hit that subscribe button. So talking about number three of my top three horror games was really hard to decide between two. I had both of them, ironically, are remakes, but I had Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space. And I went with Dead Space as the top three horror game of 2023. This game was a huge hit when it came out in 2008, one of my favorite games to play, and it still holds up really good today. It's definitely got that terrifying atmosphere in the remake, which was developed by EA Motive, stays faithful to original and also adds some new features such as improved graphics, enhanced gameplay, and some more immersive sound. Now, if you're like me, I really enjoy sound for horror games, and this one was incredible. Just a quick little summary of the game. If you've never played it, you play as Isaac Clark, an engineer who finds himself trapped on a spaceship infested with horrific creatures called necromorphs. Your only weapons are your engineering tools, which can be used basically to just destroy, dismember, and basically kill all your enemies in some crazy gruesome ways. The game is definitely full of a lot of intense moments, jump scares, gore, but obviously not too many jump scares, and it has a really good story. It's definitely going to keep you on the edge of your seat, and if you like any movie like Aliens, The Thing, Event Horizon, anything like that, you're definitely going to want to check out Dead Space. Honestly, to me, it reminds me so much of Alien, and that's one of my favorite sci-fi horror films. So if you've never played the original, definitely play the remake. Hell, if you've played the original, play the remake because it's even better. At number two, this is a game that I easily choose as number two, even though I have talked a lot of negative points on it in previous videos, and that is Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game. Now, this game is obviously done by Gun Media Interactive, and the game has received mostly positive reviews from critics and players. And myself, I enjoy the game, I enjoy the graphics, I enjoy the gameplay, and the game has some great atmosphere and lets you explore the Slaughter family. It's backstory and the characters of Johnny and Sissy, and it has a lot of lore to it. The game is very faithful to the original film, which is widely considered one of the most influential and terrifying horror movies ever made. That is just critical opinion, definitely not mine. The game recreates a lot of these film settings, characters, and scene, and also uses the film's original soundtrack and sound effects. That part I do like, especially like I said, in horror films, music, sound matters. There are really no jump scares per se in this game. It relies mainly on that tense cat and mouse and suspense chase between the victims and the family. The game has a lot of replay values, got some good maps, got some good characters, your four victims against three killers, which is definitely unique and new to the asymmetrical horror game. Now, to say that this game is perfect is not at all true. The game has some technical issues, bugs, it has a lot of balancing issues, which in my eyes has made this game kind of lackluster at times. But overall, Text Chainsaw Massacre is a game that is a must play for any horror fan, and especially those who love the original film because of how faithful and immersive it is to that franchise. Now at number one, and easily the best horror game 2023, is Alan Wake 2. We have a long awaited the sequel to the cult classic psychological thriller Alan Wake. And this was developed by Remedy and Alan Wake 2 continues the story of the writer who is haunted by his own creations. It's going to remind you of those that Steve King, David Lynch, and Twin Peaks vibe, which is great, especially if you're a horror fan and if you're a Stephen King fan or just a big fan of horror novels. This game sets place in a new location called Bright Falls, where strange events and dark forces are at work. 
The game combines elements of action, adventure, and horror as you use your flashlight and weapons to fight off the enemies that lurk in the shadows. The game also features a dynamic day and night cycle, which affects the gameplay and the story. What I really like about this game is the way it transitions from basically CGI graphical gameplay into this live action cutscenes. It's really unique and it makes the game feel that much more intense and makes you feel a little more involved in the game, I guess I would say. It's almost like watching a movie and playing a game at the same time. So if you're looking for a game that blends horror, mystery, and drama, Alan Wake 2 is it. And it's definitely my favorite as the number one horror game of 2023. Now that's it. Do you agree with my picks? What are your favorite horror games of the year? And let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more Nightmare Culture videos. Thank you for watching and until next time.